Welcome back design students. In this video we're going to create an idle layer for our robot character. Our frame rate is currently 30 frames per second. That's the default for 3D Max. So 30 frames is one second. So let's make this 60 frames. That'll be two seconds. And let's turn on set key. Select all our controllers. Click the plus sign to set a key at the end and at the beginning. So let's start with a blink animation. Let's uh, turn on auto key and move the time slider forward a couple of frames and then go to the modify tab and select our eye controller. Now what we want of course when he blinks is for the eye to close. So let's animate the upper and then let's animate the lower lid. We'll animate them both to close. Now notice that auto key set the first key for that back at the beginning frame. So let's take that key and move it forward. Not right next to it, but one frame over. And then let's take that key and copy it by holding down shift. And let's see what that looks like. So that's one blink. So now we have a blink cycle that we can hold down shift and copy as many times as we want. So let's see what happens here. So now we have a blink animation. I think uh, one of the things he would probably kind of do is bob up and down. So with auto key selected, let's go to the beginning frame and move him down a little bit and then let's go to the end frame and right click and bring up the curve editor and go to that Z position and paste this same value which is negative 4.5 done copy that and paste it in here so it's the same Because he should end as he began. And then let's go to frame frame 30 and move him up. And so let's see what that looks like. I feel like the blink is too much. So let's take one of these out. And maybe one of these out. See, it just blinks a couple of times. So I feel like that pretty much about all we need. I mean, we could make him do other things like maybe look left and look right occasionally, but I feel like if you do that too much of that, then um, he just looks too fidgety. If you're curious as to what this would look like, faster then you could sorry you could right click on the play button and select it two times that was two times actually let's see what it looks like at the normal speed that's the normal speed if you wanted to see what it looks like faster then you could right click on the timeline and select two times and that is twice as fast Now if you wanted it to be twice as fast or faster, then you could select an object that's animated, select all of its keyframes, and then in the timeline you could use this little scale tool to scale it down to where you want it to be. And of course that's not going to loop because the timeline is longer than that. So, And then you would have to take your other animations and put them within that time frame. Now I'm not going to scale them, I'm just going to move them. So I'm going to just move them inside there and then maybe move these closer and make the timeline 30 frames. And 
that's twice as fast. I think I like it the way it was, so I'm just going to hit undo a few times. I just wanted it to look like he's breathing, so that's, I think, the right speed for me. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you in the next one.